the, okay, so there are some recent photos that were posted on twist, uh, Twister. <laughs> Woo! On Twitter yeah. um, of an IR scene that you did with who is who, what's the dick? And it's like so big. And, dread. Is it dread? Okay. Yeah. Oh, and that one where my ass just like huge. Not even that one. Before I saw that one, I saw the one of you holding his dick like it was a sandwich. Oh and yeah, and like biting. Like, yeah, and it just looks like it's like a like a yeah. massive subway that you'll never be able to eat. Yeah, and I remember seeing that picture, going, "How the fuck is that going to go inside of her?" It was crazy. I mean, when Jules first approached me about doing that shoot, I had just started doing a couple of months before, but I was like, I was really into it. Mm. I was like, I was realizing, you know, that I could do it and not just do it like normal, but really take it and gape. Mm -hmm. Gaping is like, I didn't know that gaping was such a popular niche. Like I didn't realize I Mm. just didn't, but he asked me to do it. And I said, you know, can we do it? And he said, whatever you're comfortable with. And I I said, okay, then I'm going to try it. And his is huge. It's the biggest I've ever, ever seen in my life except for maybe one other person but i don't even want to talk about him okay because he sucks but dread is an amazing performer and what was i saying his dick it was, was the really biggest big. but like next to my tiny hands and mm-hmm. face it just looked like astronomical so are you one of those people that do you find sometimes easier than vaginal yeah. Okay, Absolutely. yeah. I know quite a few girls like that. Absolutely. I mean, Because your is really tight, right? It's, it's so tight. And I actually just tweeted about this the other day that it's actually kind of frustrating and it really bums me out sometimes, like, how tight it is. And I know people, a lot of people commented on that and said, like, either, oh, I want to f*** that type. Mm-hmm. Or they said, like, you should be happy you have a type. Yeah. And I'm just like... Maybe if I was, like, a regular civilian girl that just wanted, like, quick validation from people telling me, like, oh, my God, you're Mm -hmm. so tight. But, like, when it's actually a career and a job and I have to get hard in the probably, like, four times a week at least, it definitely takes a toll on my body and my, yeah, it kind of hurts. Like, what I'm realizing is that, like... When people don't use enough lube, it creates, like, this friction, and it's, like, tearing away at the skin. Oh, like, But, like, it's fine. Like, I always recover. I just need to, like, have that recovery time. It always bounces back, but it's just, like, you know. Do you I book your boy-girl it. seeds then with, like, time in between them? Yes. Um, Spiegler, when I first went with Spiegler, he asked, like, you know, how many boy-girls can you do in a row? How many? can you do and I told him like you know I can do like two sometimes three boy girls in a row depending on the guy on the guy yeah size what type of scene it is but I would much prefer to have like you know a boy girl than a girl girl than a boy girl Mm -hmm. and just like I like the fact that the scenes I do are versatile because it's not just like constant strain Mm -hmm. on my yeah So, I mean, do you, so what do you do then? Do you just like have to warm it up before a scene? Do you ever use toys or you just have like the guy start Um, off real slow? I just really like, they just use a lot of lube and start slow. It, it stretches out like Mm -hmm. eventually it. And when I get aroused, like it opens more, that's Mm -hmm. just like female anatomy. But, um, oh my God, I lost my train of thought. This happens all the time. Um, (laughs) about getting your pussy to open up. Yeah. About getting it to open up. It just opens, but yeah, they definitely have to take it slow at first. And sometimes like, I find it funny when people say like, it's the myth that the more a girl gets like her is loose. Mm -hmm. I just think it's so funny because it's actually the exact opposite. The more you have in the it gets swollen and it shuts mm. and it's like clamped shut. So yeah. that kind of happens to me sometimes. It's hard to do a boy girl if it was like a really tough scene the day before and then to do another one, it just takes longer. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, it was interesting. There was this one girl that I worked with who she brings a vibrator and she uses it on her before mm-hmm. the boy girl scene, like yeah. even just for a couple of minutes to like get her aroused. And yeah. she said it helps her open up so much. And yeah. I was like, that makes so much sense to me. Yeah. But I'd never seen anybody else do that. I used to do that for mm-hmm. like when I first started, it was, um, it was a way to associate like the quote unquote pain of 
with like sexual pleasure. Mm -hmm. I never really had like serious pain, more just like uncomfortable stretching. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, using the vibrator definitely helps, but I don't even use that anymore because I've kind of like learned about my like elastic, what is the word? Elasticity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've learned about it and I know how it works now. And, um, after doing that scene with dread, I kind of, I just like, no, you know, I just have an instinct now for like how it's going to be that day. And it's just like a comfort, a, a thought in my head, knowing like, no matter how scared I am of this, like I will take it and it won't hurt. Cause if I can do anal with dread without pain, then I can do anal with anyone. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.